Hi, hey everyone. Um, I'm going to go through with you this 51 page document, um, the 2020 AP testing guide. I'm going to try to go through it uh, and point out some of the pretty relevant information for you guys. Okay. So um, we're going to talk about the e ticket tips to take before exam day, what you have to do on the exam day, and then we'll go a little bit into stuff like that. So you need an AP exam ticket to test. You're gonna get it two days before each test. So you're not gonna get it on the same day. If you have a couple different ones, they're gonna come at all different times, okay? It's gonna have an AP ID. It's gonna tell you your time, where you are, and then uh, where that, you're. it's going to activate 30 minutes before your exam, okay? Don't give this to anybody, it's yours. Um, this just shows you when your exam is. And then all of the exams have a makeup date. And just so you know, you're taking the exam the same time as everybody else. So if the exam is at four o'clock here, it's gonna be earlier in California, even earlier in Hawaii, et cetera, et cetera. It's going by time zone. So everybody's starting at the same time. Okay. So uh, here in Madrid, they're taking it at eight o'clock at night. In LA, they'll be taking it at 11 in the morning. Okay, so this year it's, it's a bit different, but it's not gonna be more difficult um to get a better score and if you don't complete all parts this is the biggest thing is that you need to upload this there is no partial credit of oh i forgot to upload it but here i can submit it late it doesn't work like that okay um we're gonna have a chance as as teachers okay if you don't get a score of three or higher we as teachers are going to be able to request a review for a confirmation of your score no clue how this is going to work OK, so three different ways you can actually submit your exam. You can copy and paste the type response. You can attach a typed response, like upload it. Or what you can do is you can handwrite, you can take a picture, and then you can upload that picture. OK, so copy and paste. This is what happens. OK, you have two side by side windows and um, it's going to give you the test timer and the stuff that you need to see, and then you'll have like a Word document open, and then what you can do is copy and paste into it. You can attach a document, so do it in the document, save as, and then go to the AP exam, and you can upload that document. And then the other one is you literally write on pen and paper, and then you take a picture of it with your phone, and you upload it. But then that means that you have to have the um, college board and your uh, ticket on your phone, okay? Uh, music theory is completely different. World language are completely different. Okay, if you have accommodations, you don't need further requests. I would uh, touch base with your guidance counselor to make sure that they are in there. But the college board with your ticket extends whatever it is that um, that it is that you are entitled to. Okay, the request to make up exam, you have to do it within 48 hours of your ex original exam date. Running out of time is not a valid response. OK, um, it needs to be a valid reason. My power went out. My computer died. Um, if you call them, it, they're, they're not going to pick up. It needs to go through the proper channels for this. OK, so um, five steps to take before exam day. Review your contact information. Make sure you're getting in. You're getting emails from the college board because that's how they're going to email you your ticket. OK. Figure out what it is that you're going to be doing it on. Are you going to be doing it on your laptop? Are you going to be doing it on your phone? Are you going to handwrite it? Okay. Practice submitting your response. Um, there's an online AP exam demo. It's available on May 4th. I've heard from a couple other teachers that it is already available. Um, and it has a practice mode. So you can practice uploading so that when you go into it the day of the exam, you're not like, uh, I don't know what to do here. Make sure you have what you need for the, your exam day. If you're writing it, do you have paper? Do you have line paper? Do you have a pen or a pencil? Okay, and make sure that you have your um, confirmation, confirmation and your e-ticket. Okay, in your email. If two days before, the day before your exam, you're like, oh, I don't have my e-ticket. You need to let somebody know. Contact guidance. They can let you know um, who to contact for that. Ooh, here we go. So this is how you do it. Make sure you go log in to myap.collegeboard.org, confirm your email address. They're sending you emails. If you haven't been getting them, check your spam, and mark them not as spam. Okay, so check your tech, prepare your documents for typing, 
okay? And, or handwriting if you're gonna do that. And then make sure you go onto AP Central and you practice uploading, you practice typing into it, you practice whatever it is you're going to do the day of, okay? This is all very, very different. The day of, once it opens, it opens. It's not like, oh, well, I need to pause it because I forgot a pen or a uh, paper or my pen ran out. You, you need to make sure that you're prepared for it, okay? On exam day, you need your e-ticket. Um, and then there's a there's an exam day checklist, okay? Um, these are recommended things that you need, okay? For certain things, there are required, like music theory and um, and the world languages are very, very different, okay? Here are required things. Here are things that are permitted. Same things, things are required and permitted. And like I said, the world languages are very different, okay? Optional resources. It's open notes. You can use your class notes, your study guides, a textbook, assignments, assessments, um, calculators for certain exams. Um, but the thing is, is that the more time you search the web, the less time you actually have answering exam questions. And if you copy and paste anything off of a website, it's plagiarism. You you don't get credit for that. Okay. So don't even don't even attempt to copy and paste or even copy and paste and write it in your own words. You're better off going with your own knowledge. Okay. So um, on May 4th, you're going to receive your exam confirmation. So if you're registered for more than one exam, you're going to get those. Two days before exam, you're going to get your exam ticket. Okay. This is a nifty device that they're offering, the AP exam day checklist. I have it pulled up for you here somewhere. There we go. So this is so you can have this one sheet in front of you. Your AP ID, the name of your exam, the exam date, the check-in time, your local exam starting time, and go through this checklist. See, see if you are ready. And during the exam, it gives you these different things to kind of look out for. All right. So on the day, 30 minutes before your exam, check in. Check in, check in, check in. Okay. And then when there, um, you have your questions. So here on the left, you see one question exam, and on the right, it's two question exams. Okay. Um, you're going to develop your response and then what you're going to do is you're going to submit your response and if you have extra time, you're going to wait. That second question isn't going to open as soon as you submit your first one. You're going to have to wait the full 30 minutes for your next question to open. Music theory and world languages are also very different. Make sure that if you're doing this on a phone, you have it in do not disturb mode so that if people are texting you, you're not like, hey, I'm taking an exam, I'll text you back. Just make sure that it is on, you are just zoned into your exam, okay? We all know how we get distracted. Don't let it happen to you. Make sure people in your house know, hey, I have an AP exam, you need to lay off, and can you please not stream, you know, Tiger King right now? Just, just let me do my exam. Exam ex security. If you violate exam security, especially if you copy and paste from online, your AP exam score will be canceled and uh you will be noted that you can't that you oh see my phone just went off put it on do not can't do not disturb um you don't you're going to be reported to college admissions for attempted cheating as well and it's not worth it don't do it okay 30 minutes before the exam um the first question is going to automatically appear don't refresh after that don't keep like hitting it you're gonna enter your AP um, ID, and then it has the time until the exam starts. And you're gonna go through whatever it is you're gonna go through. And then what you'll have is you'll have time left to submit work. It's going to show on the one screen, okay? Then when you get under five minutes, it's gonna to go to red, okay? And then it's, you only have five minutes to submit your work. Don't wait until there's 30 seconds left to submit your work, because what happens if it doesn't upload in time? They're giving you 25 minutes and then five minutes to upload it. Okay, make sure that you are uploading your work. Make sure, because even if you're not done, upload it. You want to make sure that you have something there for them to score. Okay, you browse for a walk file, click submit. Oh, if you're going to paste your work, you paste your work, you hit submit. Okay, if you don't click submit before the time runs out, your response will not count. That is the worst thing that can happen during this exam. Okay. 
So there are a lot of things that can go wrong. Don't refresh your browser. Don't hit the back arrow. Um, don't call customer service. Nobody's going to be there. Okay. So exam scores. Uh, environmental is being scored from June 19th or 18th to the to the 24th. Okay. Um, we're a lot of colleges. Uh, almost all of them are accepting AP scores this year even with the change in this, okay? These are all of the different schools. So College Board wants you to know, during this challenging time, the AP program wants every interested AP student to have the opportunity to earn the college credit they've been working towards all year. Stay safe and healthy, and I echo the same. I hope this helped.